China is a big place, but it's also the place with the most people in the world, with a population of over 1.45 billion people. If you count all the Chinese people overseas, that number is almost one and a half billion Chinese people. That means for every five people in the world, one of those people is Chinese. Time to start learning Mandarin. The problem in China, though, is that you have these massive metropolises, cities with populations of 20 million people or more. This is a huge logistical problem, having so many people in such a small area. China has already built some of the best urban infrastructure with some of the most advanced water, power, and public transit systems in the world. This, many have believed, would lead to some of the biggest mega cities in the world, the type you see in sci-fi movies. The problem is, to have continued growth in big cities is unsustainable and will lead to urban management problems like traffic congestion, high housing prices, smog, and just insufficient infrastructure. But there is another solution China is doing, and it's simpler than you might think. Getting people to move out of the city. It's not what you think. It all started back in 2016, when several government departments said, let's build some cool towns that are friendly to tourists, trade, technology, traditional culture, education, and modern manufacturing, and are also great places to live. This plan is what China calls New China Towns. It basically means taking smaller towns and villages on the outskirts of major metropolitan areas and developing them into larger cities with tourism and industry to act as sort of a satellite city to its neighboring metropolis. Each new city would function to ease the pressure of the growing major cities and might specialize in one type of industry or cultural aspect. China has built hundreds of these satellite towns in the last 20 years, attracting both rural migrants and urban residents who want to move out of the city centers for a more comfortable place to live and work, with a much lower cost of living than in the big city. In the coming decades, how Chinese live will be transformed by these cities, especially with the development of one of the most robust public transportation and high-speed rail systems in the world, bringing the distance between urban centers and these new towns even closer. If you look close to Guangzhou, in the countryside, near the site of a dormant volcano, you might notice something unusual, a giant copper sitting Buddha statue. Yes, a giant 77 meter tall statue of Guan Shi Yin, which in Mandarin translates to the one who perceives the sounds of the world. She's associated with compassion and is known as the goddess of mercy. This is one of these new towns called Xi Qiao. With over a billion yuan in government investment over the years, the town's infrastructure, industry, and tourism have been developed, turning it from a rural village into a major center for industry and tourism. The giant Buddha in the National Forest Park is a major source of tourism, and the town is known for its fabric industry. This development has attracted much outside investment. They even have created a technology park to develop high technology products and even ceramics. Many companies that specialize in these things have moved their offices away from Guangzhou and have benefited from lower overhead costs without hurting their logistics and bottom line. So the future of Chinese cities is to essentially split them up into a core with many specialized satellite cities surrounding them, making an overall better quality of life for the people and more efficient infrastructure and industry for all.